Hello. In this video, we're going to highlight how to build modules in Canvas. To begin, let's choose modules in the, in the left hand side, the left hand navigation menu. Once we're on the modules page, in the upper right, we want to click plus module to add a module. And I am going to add a module that is titled sections 1.1 and 1.2 that is going to be equivalent to a class day. I'm going to add the module. By default, all new modules will show up at the bottom. If you ever need to rearrange modules, you can drag and drop like so, or you can use the settings on the right hand side to move the module, which is what I'm going to do here, move it to the top so it makes everything a little bit easier to see. Now, at this point, when you start to build the module, you have two options. If you are comfortable editing and using pages, you can add a new item to the module here and you can add, for example, a new page. If you have imported the regionals template, which is something that I have done, you can also add a page here. And that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to add the module one page and add that particular item. Now that the page is here, I can click on it and I can edit. And it gives me this framework where I can go through and edit the module outcomes, the presentation and demonstration, if I have any PowerPoints, Google Slides, if I have any video lectures that I want to link or embed, if I want to list or link the module text and readings, any additional resources, and give the students an overview of what they're going to do in the module. So this is something that you can do with um, adding a page to a module. Now let's go back and imagine that we're not going to do that, that we haven't used pages very much and we just want to see the module at a glance. So let's get rid of that particular page. And what you can do now to build the module is to go through and use, for example, um, we can start with text headers and maybe you want to add the date here. Maybe you want to say that this is what we're going to do for Monday, March 30th. And we're just going to add that particular item. And then it shows up right here. Then we want to go through and tell the students what are they going to do next. We can add another header where we can say, for example, read sections 1.1 and 1.2 in the text. Maybe I want to indent this one so it stands out a little bit from, from the date. Okay, so now that we see that that is there, we want to um, also have the students view um, lecture material that we have. So we're going to add, I have a YouTube video of a lecture that I have made and I'm going to add this here. I get to name this, so I'm going to say view uh, recorded Oops. lecture on sections 1.1 and 1.2. Um, typically it works well if you load that in a new tab and then add the item. Then perhaps there's an article that we want them to read. So we've got a new file and we are going to say open and then add. Note that the file name is by default the file name that you have listed, but you can edit that. For example, if you want to say, read the article and then go like so, then again, when the students look at this, they are going to see at a glance, they need to read these sections, they, do, they need to view this recorded lecture, they need to read this article, etc. So now we've built up our, our lecture material where we have our text readings, we have our presentation, etc. And now we get into the actual items that the students are going to complete. To go through here, again, we're always going to use this plus in the upper right to add a new item. And maybe first we want to add a quiz. And I want to have a new quiz that is a, um, a quiz on sections 1.1 and 1.2, just over the general information. I choose which group I want this to belong to. Let's imagine that that's the grammar checks. And again, still, I'm going to indent that one level. 
now perhaps now know that there's not actually a quiz there. This is how we've we're we're getting the overall setup for the module. You will have to open this in a new tab or a new window, and you will have to actually go through and add the quiz questions, the dates, etc. But this is setting up the framework for the particular module. Then maybe we want to add a discussion board and we'll have a new topic. So discussion on sections 1.1 and 1.2. And the same where what we have here, there, there's actually not a discussion topic. Open this in a new tab or new window and edit it to have the prompt that, that you and the instructions that you want for students. And then lastly, we are going to add a new assignment. And this is going to be a reflection on sections 1.1 and 1.2. Add the item. And as with the quiz and the discussion, this is something that will need to be opened, that you will have to edit, give a due date, etc. And here you have a module that reflects roughly a class day that if students in the student view, if they click on modules, this is what they will see at a glance that on Monday, March 30th, this is what they need to read. This is what they need to view. This is what they need to read. And then we have the quiz, the discussion, and the reflection. Once everything is edited here, for example, the quiz and the discussion, you have everything the way that you want it. You need to make sure that you publish the module in the upper right. And then that should help trigger to where everything is going to be published. You can see all of the green checks down, down the way. Now, note, I have published the quiz discussion, et cetera, here without editing. You want to make sure that you do that beforehand. So this is something, again, a way to organize your course content. This here, for example, is a class day. You could continue to build this and you could have, instead of just sections 1.1 and 1.2, you could have a larger module for all of chapter one with all of the sections that it includes. And again, you can use these headers to go ahead and break in, break the module into each day. You can add pages, you can add external links, files, and all of this by adding the plus in the upper right. You can add those quizzes, discussions, etc.